All right, we're going to look at the math for Chapter 5, uh, the simple series circuit. Now, this math is a math sheet that I created. These problems are actually not found in the ACDC Principles and Applications textbook, but it's the same type of math. So the first formula we're going to be using is Ohm's Law, which is found this figure here is found in Chapter 5 of your textbook, which shows you how to use the Ohm's Law formula. And basically what they're showing us in Figure 22 is if you take the three letters of Ohm's Law, and this will work for any three-letter algebraic equation, you put them in a circle. As long as you have two out of the three, you can find the third. So if I'm looking for volts, I cover up the V, and it shows me I times R will give me V. If I'm looking for I, I cover up the I and it shows me V divided by R will help me find current. If I cover up the R, if I'm looking for R, it's V divided by I and I can find the resistance. So this is how you use this figure. And we're going to use this formula to do problems 1 through 14. When we get to 14, we're going to use the power formula, and it basically works the same exact way. And it involves the letters of P, I, and V, or PVI, the way they have it displayed here. So let's do a few of these examples. All right, starting with number one. First question is, what am I looking for? And I am looking for current. So using my Ohm's law, if I cover up the current, it's V divided by R. So I have 10 volts. Put in 10. I like to use the over under button. And I have 100 K ohms. It shows this. You can hit S to D to get a decimal, but it really doesn't matter because we're going to hit engineering to get our answer anyway. And so we're looking for current. So this is 100 micro amps. All right, in the next one, we're looking for current again. So again, it's going to be I is equal to V over R. So I got 15 volts over 2 times 10 to the third. And this gives me 7.5 milliamps. All right, the next one, I'm looking for voltage. So if I cover up the V, it's I times R. So V is equal to the I of 200 times 10 to the negative 6 times an R of 3.3 .3 times 10 to the sixth. And that's 660 volts. All right, and number four, I'm looking for resistance. So if I cover up the R, it's V divided by I, and the V is 5.4 volts over the I of 2 milliamps. And this gives me my resistance of 2.7 K ohms. And remember that all of your answers have to be between 1 and 1,000. So whatever the appropriate metric prefix is to put them in between 1 and 1,000, that's the way you have to answer it. All right, so let's skip on down here to number 15. And you see here that we're looking for power. Okay, so we're going to use our power formula. <clears throat> and it basically works the same way as the Ohm's Law. All right, so since we're looking for power, we cover up the P, and it's equal to V times I. So what is my V? 120 volts times my I of 12.5 amps, which equals 1.5, and I'm looking for power, so it is kilowatts. The next one, looking for power again, so it's 120 volts times V times I times 625 milliamps gives me 75 watts. In the next one, I'm looking for current. So if I'm looking for current, I cover up current, and it's P divided by V. So the P goes on top, 1.2 kilowatts, divided by the V of 120 volts, giving me 10 and I was looking for current, so it's 10 amps. The next one, I'm looking for voltage. I cover up voltage, it's P divided by I. So what is my P? 100 over, 
8.33 amps. And this gives me my answer of 12 volts. And that is how you use Ohm's Law and the Power Formula to solve the math on this sheet.